All right, so it was a matter of time. <laughs> uh, we died, and it was possibly the most stupid death of all time. We're going to respawn here real quick. And this is why we built this place. However, I had no clue I'd be dying right up there, so I'm probably just going to walk up there. What happened? My keyboard froze. And I feel like every single episode I talk about my freezing keyboard. Well, I was going to check on our gunpowder farm. I was AFKing a bit and uh, was being a little careless with my elytra and kind of was helping myself build some momentum and drop faster before I deployed my elytra. Well, when it got time to deploy the elytra, um, the deployment failed. <laughs> so, I died, and I guess this is going to be the start to this episode here. I wasn't even planning on recording, but now we are. So, uh, that being said, thank you for clicking on this video, uh, choosing to watch, and uh, hopefully enjoy uh, another episode with me here. Uh, this is the uh, 20th episode of this series. Wow, oh my gosh, just an explosion of stuff and fun over here. Anyways, I need to go on top of here and collect all of our stuff and make sure we have all of our items here. So we have our elytra, which let us down greatly here. Um, and we have our butter knife. I, I renamed some of the stuff, so I have a Nerf gun and a butter knife here. <laughs> and uh, rockets. This is here. I think we're all good, actually. Funny enough. And let's even see if we have gunpowder here. Um, it's the whole reason why we even jumped down here. And let's see if our elytra works. See, it still works. Our keyboard's back to normal. Let's take a look in here real quick. There we go. We have gunpowder. All right. Well, that death was over. Checking to see if we had 25 gunpowder. Well worth it, I guess. You guys are probably wondering what we did off camera. Um, off camera, we've been working at our village to kind of terraform the area there. And we'll kind of fly that way. I want to check and see if our sniffer dug up any good stuff, by the way. Oh, my gosh. Torch flower seeds. Great. I've been collecting this, by the way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I want to get this guy in a boat. Where did I put my boat? You're coming back here now. We're going to take this one. Boat. Oh, nope. Get back here. Nope. Okay, we're just going to destroy our house here. Oh. Yes. All right. We need a name tag you. Do we have name tags here? Oh, no. This might be a fail. If we put it in a boat, are we good? I don't know. You know what? If it's meant to be, it's meant to be here. <laughs> We'll try to get a, a name tag here. I think that'll be fun. Have a little, uh, have a friend here uh, in our little adventure manor. Anyways, um, yeah, like I said, I've been doing some work at the village here. Um, oh, no, I just knocked off something. Okay, you're just going to be in the middle here for now. We'll find a place for you later. Um, but yeah, at the village, we were doing that terraforming uh, with the help of our conduit. And we have the entire peninsula terraformed. And I also kind of fixed how the village was looking as well um, with terraforming some different areas, reshaping the land so it looks a little bit more believable because it was just an absolutely horrendous uh, village and, and terraforming job by Minecraft's part. On top of that, we also added some walls around the village. Very simple. It maybe took 40 minutes. Um, but we'll start first and foremost with the peninsula here as you can see underwater is 100 percent terraformed and then on this edge over here we actually built an artificial land bridge over here and used up a ton of our excess dirt that we had so we also made this into a lake sort of and i want to show you if we dive in here there we go. We have some wonderful iron golems here. Let's lay down so we're not you know, flying anymore. And let's go into swim mode. And we put sea pickles down here. That's something. Um, I wanted to show you that we moved the conduit underground here. This is underneath our peninsula now. 
and the conduit effects go all around this area. So just FYI, uh, pretty cool stuff. We got a dolphin underneath here. Life is great. Um, <laughs> let's get back to the sea pickles here. How did we find that? Well, we didn't find a uh, we didn't find a uh, warm ocean biome, whatever that's called, tropical ocean, whatever the case may be. Uh, wandering trader came by with some coral. Coral. I can't say that word now. Coral. Try saying coral and see if you get self-conscious like me. I feel very self-conscious. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, he came by with some coral. Also came by with some sea pickles. Traded for that and we've been farming it up with bone meal. So I decided to uh, kind of light up that area there. As far as the uh, village wall goes, uh, what we did is just do something simple here. Um, simplicity wins and villages like this and so what we did is we had some little openings here with fences and then mixed the acacia with the dark oak which i think is a pretty uh pretty great uh pattern here and i believe it's like four and a half blocks tall yep got that right so again very simple here uh try to keep it simple so we could focus on you know, adding some more interesting decorations here in this village. Because I want to be done with it. I feel like we've been working on this since episode 5. It is now episode 20. It's a pretty monumental, I guess, uh, ouch, pretty monumental episode here. And I think, you know, better uh, finish this village here. So you guys are probably wondering. Well, you guys aren't wondering, you know, unless you didn't look at the title of this video, which now, now you probably already know. We're going to be calling this town Twin Church Bay uh, because we're in a bay. And when we came here, there was two churches right here. So I want to, in this episode, I want to create a banner that kind of symbolizes two, Twin Church Bay, display said banner all over the place to kind of establish an identity here. Next... I want to uh, add some uh, cool decorations here, uh, such as, you know, trees, uh, different farming areas here, because we already have all of our buildings in place. Um, but I kind of want to add like maybe some horse stables, uh, different animal uh, places, some more farming areas, like I already said, um, just some interesting landscaping areas and just kind of showing that, you know, people are living here. Um Last but not least, I think I want to do like make that area a little bit more interesting because it is a bay um, and we want to signify that there's like some sort of trading here uh, going on. We already kind of signified that with a path from our base over here. So there's a land route, but also maybe an ocean route too, uh, since there is something here. So I'm thinking of expanding this dock here and then adding a boat or two. So that's kind of all my plans are for this episode here it is just doing that. I think it lays a solid foundation for what we want to do here. And uh, I know you guys are saying, hey, uh, why didn't you say all of this and uh, open up the diary like we usually do? Um, I wasn't expecting to record until now, but I figured since I died and uh, didn't lose all my stuff, luckily, it was the easiest form of death, uh, stupidity. Um, you know, might as well kind of lay the the blueprint here since I've been doing lots of work. So that being said, I'm super stoked to get started here. Uh, I don't know what we're going to start with. Again, this is going to be kind of chaotic clips all throughout the week kind of being compiled into an episode. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what happens. Hello. We're back uh, and we made some changes. <laughs> and I think this is how the episode's going to go. It's like a day later here and I've just been like logging on whenever I have some free time and just kind of looking where can I improve this place. Um, I guess I wasn't quite done terraforming yet. This hill here is just so funky. I almost had to make it look man-made. So I put in a retaining wall made out of mud bricks and also terraformed the area even more. So this church is literally on the edge right here. And then I opened this up completely to where now the walkway is open here and there's like multiple retaining walls like throughout this area here which i think looks great um if you could take a look from this way here i mean just look at how much better and we'll even go from this angle too 
look at how much better this looks compared to what it was before. Um, and it's also kind of, uh, you know, not symmetric, kind of chaotic almost. Um, so it still has that charm of like a uh, village that was naturally generated, but at the same time, it looks a lot better. We also added some trees. Uh, was putting some azalea trees around, trying to get a good sapling diversity here. And we also made a little animal pen here, as well as a wheat farm here. Uh, I want to breed up some more sheep. And these guys are giving me uh, black wool here that I'm able to trade to our shepherd. At the same time, we're using it for banners. I came up with a banner design here. And if you guys were a little uh, observant in this clip already, you probably already noticed that. This is what it is. Uh, so the blue and yellow, the light blue and yellow match our flag up there at the guild. So I kind of wanted that to be included. Um, these little brick towers on both sides here symbolize the two churches made out of cobblestone. And then a big uh, sun in the middle, I think, looked good. So that was kind of the, uh, the whole story behind uh, creating this banner here. So let me know what you guys think, if there's anything that should be different, but I'm pretty much sold here. Um, how I'm getting this, uh, or more banners, by the way, it's by obtaining black wool here, right? Uh, that's one way of doing it. So I can uh, plop down a crafting table, go into here and make banners this way. Uh, another way I'm able to do this is our shepherd conveniently sells black banners and I'm able to just go here, oops, and then wrong villager, there we go. Go in here and look, now they're selling it at a discount here, <laughs> and I guess I already maxed them out. But again, um, yeah, I, I could buy black banners as well, and all you have to do in order to duplicate this is literally this right here. So we have ourselves a ton of banners. I've been just placing them everywhere. Again, I think it's, uh, you know, um, again, trying to keep a, an identity here. And, and I think it looks cool. Um, that being said, I kind of want to place these maybe a bit higher up here. So like, yeah, right there is a lot better. Look at that. Awesome. Yeah. So that's kind of the plan now is just placing banners down everywhere. Um, and I think these retaining walls look awesome, by the way. I just want to say it. Um, so we're going to continue to, uh, if there's any other places to add this, we will. But I think we got most of this covered. By the way, making mud brick blocks or just mud in general is just so annoying. <laughs> so that might be something. This looks weird. Okay. I'm just ruining my builds here. Um, that might be something that we... Uh, try to automate in the future like making a mud farm because it is like pulling teeth um having to take the water uh bottle and individually select dirt blocks and place them then take them down especially when you don't have um what is it depth strider on anything so again kind of uh kind of a lot there <laughs> again i'm placing banners like when i said i'm placing it in a lot of places i'm placing it almost everywhere um, let's see if we have a place in here. Isn't there a, like, oh yeah, I put down some empty black banners here. Let's upgrade those real quick. Boom. And just like that, now they look a lot cooler. Look at that. And I assume this guy's making the banners for, if we're trying to get a story for this place, uh, if he's making the banners, there's going to be a bunch of them in his place. So I think we're almost good with every single build here. I might put it in a few other, you know, a few other places like in here. Again, I'm just trying to be like over the top, like make it clear that this is the uh, their uh, so-called flag. There we go. Look at that. And beautiful Minecraft music comes on again. Wonderful. This place has an identity now. Uh, this is wonderful. I'm sure... This is the next place we want to tackle here. I want to place a big boat right in this little gap here. And I'm sure 
what is it? We could place like some banners right here, kind of welcoming any visitors that come in. And then over here too, I'm thinking of making like a little area with some barrels and stuff too. Maybe some more fishermen can come out here. Uh, but kind of make like an area for trade, like like where trade happens here. I think that would be cool. So maybe a few merchants then coming down to sell their stuff at the sea. So maybe not barrels technically, but get some other uh, villagers with different roles out here to kind of sell goods to other people. I think that would be a cool idea. So in the next clip, hopefully you're seeing a pretty cool looking boat and uh, a little revamp to this area because I, I feel like this... And then all the new space that we added here in this area is like the last little pieces of making this place look special. Um, we, we have the foundation finally with uh, terraforming down. We have the walls. Um, we have the banner now, the identity. Uh, it's just kind of adding a little bit more interest to some of these blank areas. And I really think that's what's going to be uh, tying this whole place together. Hey, guys. As the sun's setting here, I want to show you our new boat in the harbor. The Abba. Harbor? Harbor. I don't know. I was trying to like sound like Northeastern there, if you know what I'm saying. Like straight up Boston, New York. I don't <laughs> I'm too mid Midwestern. Um, never going to try to do that again in my life. We created a boat here in the harbor. We're in the bay technically. Uh, because this is uh, Twin Churches Bay. Twin Church Bay. That's what it's called here. I made it out of dark oak and uh, decided to do uh, black as the uh, the sail color here. And I think it turned out pretty good. I had some reference, but this was freelanced. And did lots of trial and error and ultimately came up with this design here. It's completely empty, by the way. I don't intend on given this any purpose here it's just strictly to make this place look better and real quick i will sleep maybe we could come back here and do something cool later uh excess storage who knows uh, it's nothing we need right now but hopefully you guys like this um now if we exit said boat here here's our little trading area um so I did a head count on villagers. We only have like one villager up there that that does not already have a role. So I was like, okay, screw it. We're going to go back to our initial idea of just putting barrels down here. Because if we wanted to add more villagers with good trades, we would have put them down here. But since there's only one extra, might as well have an extra fisherman here and just a ton of barrels, crafting tables, that sort of stuff. So that's what it's looking like here. I have a little archway uh for people to enter and exit i think i need a few i need to make a few more banners here we'll make sure to do that but it's like 99 percent complete here now we're going to keep our elytra off here so if i try to fly i'm going to be unable to which is cool and i want to show off what we've done around here so lots more bone meal has been placed uh planted some acacia or sorry azalea Azalea, I almost <laughs> forgot the uh, name of this tree here. Planted more of these on the little beach area that we made. And uh, yeah, planted this. I forget if this is already planted or not between clips here. But it's just looking absolutely beautiful and a lot more complete in this area. Uh, we also completed farms around the edge here and also kind of added in some uh, wheat here growing as just another decorative block. So kind of added in farms and weird places here out in this area. This is like our whole agriculture center here. Um, so I took out the initial wheat field here that's been here forever and replaced it with a little cow pasture. And I've been breeding these up uh, over time here. And we have more wheat fields over there. And we'll get to that. Melons are growing. I added pumpkins just because. Why not? And then I created some scarecrows in said wheat field out here, which is looking <laughs> looking silly. I'll say that. We have uh, more sheep out here. I believe I shared that we had a sheep field out here. Maybe I didn't. There's sheep here. Um, they're growing up to be uh, adult sheep where we will actually, we need to right now. 
And now that I'm saying this, I do remember this was put in place. I expanded it a bit and breeded them up a little bit more. Uh, but we need black wool to make more banners or duplicate more banners out at the uh, out at the little uh, shipyard area. Oh, and the music's coming in again. How great. Potatoes are growing out here. I think this looks good. And then uh, we put in a little pig place here, pig pen down here. So looking excellent. It looks a lot better when there's actual stuff down here uh, for the mason shop underneath the guild. I just think that this is just such a cool little area here of the village. And really once we put in all these trees and bone meal and everything, it's just looked incredible here. I'm not going to lie. This might be one of my favorite Minecraft projects I've done. Up here, here's the horse stable. I need to figure out what to do here because when these fences are gone, they come out. I just uh, tamed a few horses out in the um, plains here. I need to figure out what to do here. I'm guessing I, I left this one open whenever I take my horse in. If I ever do that again, uh, I could just lead it up right there. So I need to figure that out because back in my starter area, I was able to do this exact thing with fences. But whenever I take this out, this guy will just gung ho his way out of here. I really like this uh, fountain as well. Just a nice little simple fountain randomly added right here up front. And then around the uh, edge right here, just more trees looking lovely. And here's one of our two churches. And it's an area for our excess villagers. And then the second one over here is just completely empty. If you all have ideas for this, I'd love to hear. Um, I just don't have any ideas. So it's empty for now. Um, but here's what I'll say. With this project, I, I think we're like 95% done. Now that we toured the entire area on foot, I would just like to show you the aerial shot. Oh my gosh. This looks great. Wow. Look what we did. Look what we accomplished. Hard work and dedication and really, you know, just a few farms and builds really just tied this place together and there's just so much life in this village i kind of want to uh share a little before clip here i guess so hopefully right now during the editing process i'm going through footage through episode five of discovering this place it was a dump it was an absolute dump and we transformed it into just something so beautiful here over the course of many episodes so really want to thank you all so much for watching. This was a huge undertaking here to kind of complete a Twin Church Bay. And now it's done. And I'm lagging like crazy. There we go. We're back. Oh, I think we're back. Maybe my computer's about to die and then this never gets published. Who knows? But it's a pride thing here. This just looks beautiful though. <clears throat> so hopefully you guys like it. If so, tell me what your favorite part of this place is. Me personally, I like all the different layers here, how we terraformed it. That was really the turning point for making this place look good. But also don't mind all the uh, the banners here as well. Again, just something I haven't really done a whole lot of in Minecraft and it really just made this, this enjoyable for me. So this was episode 20, 20 beautiful episodes uh, in this series. Uh, this is not the end, don't get me wrong. We're just getting started here. Um, but I think this kind of completes like our beginner phase of, uh, of this series, 20 episodes in, and we, uh, revamped a village from scratch. No crazy villager trading setups, no crazy farms as well. I think we maybe made a, yeah, a trident farm and a creeper farm, but that's about it. So really, uh, played through these first 20 episodes very organically, I'd say, um, I'd like to say we're going to enter more of an industrial era uh, over the course of the next 20 episodes or however many more we have here. And it's going to be fun. So looking forward to that. Um, if you guys are binge watching this series, then you could just skip on to the next episode from here. But for those of you watching real time, I just want to give you a little heads up. We have something exciting uh, coming to the channel here. So I want you to stay tuned within the next week or so. Uh, we got some good stuff headed our way. Um, so 
Going to be a little hiatus uh, from this series here for a few weeks. Uh, but some other stuff's going to kind of join the mix on the channel here. And hopefully y'all are as stoked as I am. So kind of teased it last episode. Uh, this episode, it's it's a, a sure thing. <laughs> it was already in the last one, but still. Um, but you guys get my point here. Um, just thank you so much for tuning in, uh, liking the video, subscribing, commenting on videos too. It just makes this experience so much more fun. And um, yeah, just wouldn't be doing this without y'all. To say, say the least, it would have been another eight episode series had I not had anyone, you know, interacting with me. So just want to say I am blessed to, to have y'all watching the videos here. So stay tuned. I love you. I'm leaving.